isometric view. In this video, we will learn how to construct an isometric view using orthographic projections. This is our sixth video on the topic. These are the orthographic projection of the object. To construct the isometric view or 3D view of the object, we first need to create the isometric axis. To do this, take a ruler and draw a horizontal line. Then, mark a center point on this line. Next, take a protractor and mark 30 degrees on both sides of the center point, as well as 90 degrees. Draw lines passing through these points from the center point. The line passing through the 30 degree mark will be the X axis, the line passing through the 90 degree mark will be the Y axis, and the remaining line will be the Z axis. With these three isometric axes in place, we can now construct the isometric view of the object. Next, we need to decide whether to draw the front view in the XY plane or the YZ plane. It's important to remember that the front view should only be drawn in these two planes, and never in the XZ plane. The top view of the object is always drawn in the XZ plane, so that's another key point to keep in mind. Since we will be using the first angle method to solve all the problems, this left-hand side figure will be the right-hand side view of the object, while the left side figure will be the front view of the object. Remembering these important points will help us accurately construct the isometric view of the object. We will draw the front view of the object in the YZ plane, as this will make more edges visible. To begin, let's create the outline of the base for the given figure. From the right-hand side view, we can determine that the width of the base is 40 mm. Similarly, the length of the base is stated as 63 mm in the front view. With these dimensions in mind, we will construct the outline of the base for the object. We now have the outline of the base. In the given front view, the thickness of the base is mentioned as 14 mm. To represent this thickness, we will increase the height of the base by 14 mm. Using a drafter, draw vertical lines of 14 mm in length from all corners of the base rectangle. Then, join the endpoints of these lines to complete the construction of the base with the increased thickness. After constructing the base, we can see that it has a slot. To construct this slot, we need to draw its outline on one side of the base. According to the given information, the width of the slot is 10 mm at the bottom and 19 mm at the top. The height of the slot is 8 mm. To begin, mark a point 8 mm above the base along the Y axis, and draw a light line parallel to the X axis to represent the height of the slot. Next, we need to mark the center point of the width of the slot. Since the total width of the object is 40 mm, the center point will be located at 20 mm from the side of the base. From this center point, mark points 5 mm away on either side to represent the 10 mm width at the bottom of the slot. Similarly, mark points 9.5 mm away from the center point on either side to represent the 19 mm width at the top of the slot. Finally, Join these points to complete the outline of the slot. Also, add the necessary details to fully represent the slot. To complete this portion of the object, we will begin by constructing a rectangle that serves as the outline of the shape. The rectangle will have a height of 33 mm and a width of 40 mm. We will draw this rectangle to represent the overall dimensions of the portion. Next, we will account for the thickness of the portion, which is given as 10 mm in the front view. To do this, we will draw the rectangle 10 mm away from the side of the object. This represents the thickness of the portion. Once the rectangle is in place, we will proceed to create the inclined lines on this rectangle. Starting from the bottom of the rectangle, we will mark a point 23 mm up and also mark points 10 mm away from either side of the rectangle. Using these marked points as references, we will draw lines connecting them, forming the inclined structure. 
These lines will represent the slanted features of the top portion. To give this portion a thickness of 10 mm, we will draw lines of length 10 mm, parallel to the x-axis from each corner point of the portion. These lines will extend outward, indicating the thickness of the portion. Finally, we will connect the endpoints of these lines to complete the structure, creating the top portion of the figure. To complete the inclined triangular portion, it has a height of 25 mm and a width of 44 mm. Using a drafter, mark 25 mm above the base and draw a line parallel to the x-axis. Next, mark 44 mm from this point along the z-axis and draw a parallel line to the x-axis. These two lines represent the height and width of the triangular shape. Next, to find the center point of the triangular portion. Since the total width of the object is 40 mm, the center point will be located 20 mm from the side. Mark the center point on the line. Next, mark points 3.5 mm away on either side of this center point. These points indicate the thickness of the portion, which is 7 mm. After this, draw a 44 mm line parallel to the z-axis from one of the points. Then, draw a vertical line of 25 mm from the end of the previous line. Connect the two endpoints to complete the triangular shape. To give the triangular portion its thickness, draw a 7 mm line parallel to the x-axis from the same point. Next. Draw a line parallel to the inclined line, starting from the endpoint of the previous line. Finally, connect these two points to complete the figure. After this, do the dimensioning of the figure. This is the final isometric view of the object. I hope this tutorial helped to understand how to construct the isometric view of an object from its orthographic projections. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. And if you're new to my channel ADTW study, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with all my latest videos.